Okay, Mom. <clears throat> There's the turtles. There's one of them. I think that is Argento. He's trying to get up on the basking area and he's going to go over to a spot to hide. And these are all the other fish that are in my aquarium. A lot of freaking work, but it's really pretty. And let's see if I can find the eel. Oh, there's, there's Argento. He's coming to check it out. See, Mom, he likes you. He's coming to say hi. He's really pretty with all the different colors on his shells and they have these crystal blue eyes. It's just adorable. They're really, really cute. Yes, I'm a grown man and I use the word cute. Fuck it. <laughs> Look how cute they are. They're freaking adorable. You just, you have to understand, they are adorable. And anybody can look at them and realize that. But see, look at the bottom of the shell. They're just beautiful. East Coast, they're endangered species. Use the poor guys in soup. They were exporting a thousand pounds a month and got them down to only 200. And luckily they've been coming back with uh, the help of making them endangered species. And what are you doing? You don't even know what you're doing. You're just swimming like crazy, aren't you? See, we got her shell. He's gonna hang out. We'll just float. Yep, he's looking at the camera. He's like, what's going on? And he's like, I gotta show my stomach and my other show. They're really intelligent animals. A lot more than people give credit for. But as you can see, the tank's huge compared to them but honestly if you're gonna have an exotic pet it's better to give them excessive room than not enough and this is not that big of a tank it's 55 gallons which is a pretty good size definitely would not mind 110 gallon or 125 because these little guys are gonna get bigger Argento is gonna get to be about five inches uh, from tip to shell to bottom to shell and then the female Cicero she will where are she's hiding she's hiding under there see she's actually oh nice there you are she actually will get to be maybe six to nine from what the what they say but there's so much conflicting info on these guys because they are endangered most people don't know so it's better to document everything and learn I mean for God's sakes I'm taking notes just so I can remember things because they are very picky and finicky and giant bonsai tree Argento comes over here because that's where the baby fish are and he's not really the hunter though he's more he's a lot lazy he tends to go for the cubes of brine shrimp. Cicero's the hunter. She's the one that just runs around and tries to grub everything, including the fish that are her size, which is hilarious. And then that's the log waiting for the turtle topper, a discontinued item that sits on the tank. And they're really difficult to find, but thanks to my best friend, I was able to find one. So I uh, was thankful for that because I want to keep the water level that way they can swim and do whatever they want I try not to hold them too often because I want to make sure that they keep their hunting instincts I had a turtle when I was a baby and I started to hand feed it and it ended up dying because it gave up on hunting so I swore if I ever got another turtle, I would never make that mistake again. I didn't realize that I would, that I did that. I was a kid anyways, but learned my lesson. So I'm going to take better care of these guys. See, look at him. He knows what's going on. He's looking at the camera. What are you, an attention whore? Jesus. Um, <laughs> anyway, 
These are the Diamondback Terrapins and they're gorgeous. And they love their tank. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye.